Rome wasn't built in a day. We all know that. Everyone hears that. But Rome also didn't fall apart overnight either. It took hundreds of years for Rome to reach its peak, but it also took time, hundreds of years, for Rome to decay and fall apart. And that is representative of life because you don't achieve worthwhile goals quickly or easily. They take time. They take struggle. They take relentless pursuit day in and day out. That's what it takes. But also, things don't usually fall apart quickly either. At least at first, it, it's, it's a slow process. A little slip here. A little setback over there. A little wearing down of discipline and will over time. That's the thing. Success and failure are generally slow processes. Either slowly building things up or gradually tearing them down. And that's why I say you've got to pay attention. You have to watch. You have to watch every single second. Because those seconds, they turn into minutes. And minutes turn into hours, and hours turn into days, and days turn into years. And so, that second, that second that just went by, that counted. And so did that second. And so did that one. And in those precious seconds, you were either building or you were decaying. You were either gaining ground or you were losing ground in that second and in every second. Every second counts. So make every second. How do you stop making excuses? This is actually pretty simple. And I said it the other day, and you have to realize, you have to know, you have to accept that all your excuses are lies. They are lies, all of them. Think about the things that you tell yourself, the lies you use to rationalize taking the easy road. Taking the easy road and leaving discipline behind. Think about them. You don't have time. That's a lie. You don't have support. That's a lie. You don't have the equipment or the gear. Lies. You don't, you don't know the best way. Who cares? That's a lie. Or you're too old or you're too young. Of course you're too old or too young. Lie. And there's, you're too busy. Sure you are. That's a lie. And you're too tired or you're too sore or you're just plain not feeling it. Lies, lies, lies. And the list goes on and on and on. And it doesn't stop if you don't make it stop. 
So recognize. Recognize the excuses are not valid. They aren't. They're trumped up. They're conjured up. They're fabricated. They're lies. And how do you stop the lies? You stop the lies with the truth. The truth. The truth will set you free. The truth will stand and the truth will deliver you from procrastination and laziness and the downward spiral that comes with a lack of discipline. So don't believe the lies, believe the truth. And the truth is you have time, you have the skill, you have the knowledge and the support and the willpower and the discipline to get it done. So cast out the lies, burn them down and listen to the truth and live the truth and go out and get it done. Self-help or self-management or self-improvement. I don't really like what those words have come to mean these days because there's a, a lot of people out there that are constantly trying to improve themselves by looking for the one change, the one change, right? The one change in their life that's going to make their dreams come true. And even worse, on top of that, there's a lot of people out there, a lot of self-help gurus and these hyperactive motivational speakers and these other self-appointed modern Zen yoga warriors that they're trying to sell the one thing. They're trying to sell the nine steps or the enlightened path that's going to allow you to unlock all of your human potential and fulfill the dreams so you can live the life that you've, you've always wanted to live. Now, I'm no guru. And I definitely don't claim to be. I'm just a man. But I will tell you this. It isn't one thing. And it isn't 10 things. And it isn't 100 things. It isn't a quick path. And there are no shortcuts. And meditation won't get you there. And neither will a miracle drug or an organic supplement or some superfood. Getting better isn't a hack or a trick or a one change that you need to make. Getting better is a campaign. It's a campaign. It's a daily, a weekly, it's an hourly fight. An incessant fight that doesn't stop against weakness and against temptation and against laziness. It's a campaign of discipline. The campaign of hard work and dedication. It's waking up early and going to bed late and grinding out every second in between. Every single day. So, you want to get better? You want to self-improve? Stop looking for a shortcut and go find your alarm clock. And find your discipline. And find your guts and your passion and your drive and find your will. And then, and then you will find your freedom.